Good morning, good morning. Welcome into my channel. We are just about ready to roll out of Dryden, in Ontario. Yeah, so we'll be making a pit stop at home and uh, spend some time with the family, you know. So, uh, yeah, so let's get out of here. Let's get down the road and see what the day will bring us today. Here we go. We'll be entering Manitoba right here. That's a beautiful sign right there. I like that. They got the sign mapped like a uh, like the map of the Manitoba. Crossing border. Entering Manitoba. Yeah. It's shaped like the, like Manitoba is. That's how they have that sign up there. That's that's beautiful. Yeah, look at this. The scale is closed for a change. But it is Saturday. It's actually Saturday 21st and we are officially in Manitoba now, yeah, look at that, we got a post that they uh, locked up our over here, I don't know why, but, oh well, yeah, so we're entering uh, White Shell Provincial Park area, we got a lot of lakes up in this area, and that's uh, where a lot of people go camping. We go to the White Shell area ourselves usually. Well, this whole area is called White Shell area, like I was saying. And uh, we usually go to Nudemake Lake camping. And uh, that's what we are planning on doing again this year. Yeah. This is West Hawk Lake up here, Aiton. We're going to West Hawk Lake. That's pretty much the first lake up here. Once you exit up here, it's, I don't know, maybe 10 clicks down the road. And you are at West Hawk Lake. I've been there once before. I used to go down here and uh, go to Calgary, uh, I mean, uh, Caddy Lake a lot. But we haven't gone there in a couple of years now. They uh, they got new owners up there, or or for the store, I mean, like they got new owners that that uh, that run the store up there. And it used to be white people. Now it's East Indians up there. And I don't know. It's it's run different now. I don't like it there very much anymore. So, but it was a nice lake up there. They had like uh, three lakes in a row up there and you could go through two tunnels go up there and uh, go do some fishing it was good fishing up there and I found a new place with a bunch of friends and now we're fishing up there so a uh, good place up there too so anyways we we are going to go make a pit stop at home. I'll probably spend four or five hours at home. And then we'll be going out again. I have to try and make it at least to Manadosa tonight. So that way I can make it to Edmonton tomorrow. And I think tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day. Because I already talked to a friend of mine and he's going to be up in Saskatoon for tomorrow. He thinks tomorrow at noon that she will be there. And so I'm probably going to go meet up with him and uh, most likely we will do a video. I already talked to him about that and uh, gave him some ideas and stuff like that where we would like to talk about. And so I'm really looking forward to that because he's a guy that... that as uh, quite a bit older than me, but uh, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, and he can talk. He's not shy, and uh, he he has been in the trucking industry for way longer than me. So we'll see if it will tend out tomorrow to talk to him. But that's, I'm really looking forward to uh, to doing that. If he will really hold up to his deal, he said he would. So, uh, ah, it's nice and sunny up here today. It's no, no wind at all, really, from what I can tell. That's the way I like it. 
Anyways, we'll keep her rolling here. And we got about an hour and a half to go and we will be in Steinbach. Here we go. We are just coming into Steinbach, Manitoba. Yeah. Speed limit reduced ahead. And it is pretty cold up here again. Supposed to go down to minus 31 overnight apparently. So I'm gonna make sure I fuel up tonight and uh, put some fuel conditioner in. Yep. But first we'll go to our yard up here in Steinbach. And then we'll go drop our trailer and then we'll just bob till over home. Which is only a mile down the road anyways. And we'll uh, spend some time with the kids and wife. Yeah. I enjoy that. Go home and spend a little bit of time with the wife and kids, you know. And those are my loved ones. Yeah. So let's go do that. And then... Uh, We'll be back probably later on this afternoon. We just finished fueling up over here in uh, Haddingley, Manitoba at the Flying J. Had me a little bit of a pit stop at home. Much needed pit stop, I guess, too. It was definitely nice to stop at home. Have a little bit of time with the family. Yeah, and now I'm in outside of Winnipeg, west of Winnipeg, I guess. And uh, the wind has picked up pretty good up here. It's pretty windy. And with that wind chill, it's made it real cold up here. Yeah. It says on the internet it is minus 23 is the temperature. The wind chill right now feels like minus 33. It's supposed to go down to uh, minus 32 Celsius overnight. Yeah, that's gonna be a cold one. I don't know what my GPS is saying. No, no, it wants me to go back home or something. I don't know what the heck. It's all screwed up. going here. There we go. Look at them big uh, piles of snow that's been piled up there to the right. Yeah. You can see it's pretty windy up here. I made sure I fueled her all the way up. Just the time that took me to fuel up. Looks my engine is almost cooled down. Continue on this road for 554 yeah. kilometers. So, anyways, we're gonna floor as soon as we can, at least, or as much as we can, as much as the weather will allow us to do, anyways. Now, yeah, look at this blowing snow right coming right across the highway here. Got big snow drifts up here. Yeah. That's even going to get worse the closer we get to Portage La Prairie. There's usually one section in there. It usually comes across. They're very strong. But we'll see how it goes. Well, I am finished for today. I've made it as far as Langerberg, Saskatchewan. Yeah, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see this, but... Uh, yeah, let's just take a sneak peek up here. Yeah, this is uh, equal to what we call truck stop up here in Saskatchewan. Basically, a little tiny bit of a pullover area, and that's so called a truck stop up here because that's all you're gonna get up here. They don't have much more than that. Yeah, but that's all right. At least we managed to pull over to a safe place. That's all that counts, right? 
so uh, I know today is gonna be a little bit of a shorter video but eh, it's all right I guess some days it's gonna be that way and whatever you know but hey I'm calling it a day I'll go to bed I'm tired I got up real early this morning get her going and we got up by dark and still dark when we stopped so hey but I did stop at home so uh, had me a good time with the wife and kids you know so I guess we'll go to bed and we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. so thanks for watching please don't forget to give me the thumbs up share the video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you did yeah, for sure it was.